Let's move on to yet another interesting development. Well, he is arguably one of the most powerful men in Kenya, a servant to his country with over 40 years military service. General Julius Karangi draws the curtains in his service as Kenya's chief of the defense forces. His Karangi's journey to the apex of Kenya's military structure. 63-year-old Julius Waweru Karangi until today was the highest ranking military officer in the Kenya Defense Forces, the president's military advisor, and since the beginning of the war with the Al-Shabaab, the central figure in engagements with the terror organization. It's a 42-year stint for the career soldier whose allegiance to the military started in the Kenya Air Force in 1973. Karangi was qualified as a flight navigator and posted to the flying wing of the Air Force in October 1975. And two decades later, he was promoted to the post of commander of the Kenya Air Force at Moy Air Base and held several other posts within the forces before being appointed as the first ever Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces on 13th July 2011. He will go down in history as the man who led Kenya into its first war on a foreign nation when in October 2011 the KDF forces entered war-torn Somalia in a bid to restore order to a nation that has known no peace for over two decades. In fact, it was the West Gale Mall attack that was to bring into full focus the real power Karangi had come to wield in Kenya's security structure, he almost totally overshadowed the Defense Cabinet Secretary Cholo Mamo. The embarrassing accusations of looting against the KDF in the Westgate Mall would slowly inspire a pullback from the public limelight on Karangi's side. Karangi is considered a close confidant of the president and arguably the most powerful public figure in Kenya outside the presidency. Karangi's profile stood out mainly because he took over from Jeremiah Kianga, the then Chief of General Staff, who stayed mainly in the background and whose tenure passed quietly. Now, Tino Kitian, Friday Briefing.